Welcome back to the SSO Family Dad channel. Today I am excited to show you guys something that has really revolutionized my DIY life here on the homestead, and that is the new 3D printer. So today we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna take a look at the specific 3D printer that we have here. I'm gonna show you a bunch of things that we have made testing this thing out and how cool it is. And at the end of the video, I wanna talk about why this thing is truly revolutionary, why 3D printing in general is truly revolutionary to the homesteader, to the DIY, and really to everyone. These things are going to change how we think and how the, uh, the market economy here works. So let me first take you guys in and show you the 3D printer that we have here and how it works, and then we'll get something printed out. So what we have is the longer LK5 Pro, that's the model number on, on this 3D printer. It is a filament 3D printer. And so basically the, the quick overview, it takes these spools of plastic filament. There's all kinds of different filaments you can get. There's a, a flexible type filaments. There's like rubber. Uh, there's this harder PLA plastic. There's ABS. There's different kinds of plastic you can use for different kinds of prints. This stuff is uh, the cheaper kind. This is what most people use, PLA, it's called. And then you can get all different colors. Um, I got all this filament on Amazon. There's a transparent, there's black. I've got green back there and I got a couple spools of white. So basically how this works is it takes a spool of the, the PLA or whatever filament you have and it feeds it in. It's got little, little grippers here that, that feeds the filament in at a, the exact right rate. Feeds it through this little tube here into the nozzle. Um, the nozzle underneath here actually heats up. It's a tiny little metal little point there. It heats up and it uh, melts that uh, plastic and it lays uh, down your, your print in layers. And so we'll go through the whole process it, real quickly. Uh, you, you put your, your 3D object into a piece of software in there. It slices it into layers and then it puts it into the, uh, the machine here and then it knows exactly what to do and it prints the whole thing out. It's, it's super easy. Anybody can do it. It doesn't require any, any 3D modeling uh, knowledge or anything like that. So this one in particular, the, the longer LK5 Pro that we have here is uh, super tall. It's a very large scale printer. So you can print some pretty big objects. Um, it's approximately 12 inches by 12 inches, so about a one foot by one foot. Um, that's the, the X and Y axis here that you, can, that you can print on. So you can print about you know, a foot by foot square item. Uh, and then you can print pretty tall, almost 18 inches tall. Sorry, almost 16 inches tall is what you can print uh, here. And it's, this has got a, some stabilization bars on it that hold everything so you can get a much taller print and everything that's really, it stays stable even as it prints real high. This has a full touch screen on it. And uh, again, I'll show you how this works. So you just load everything on a little SD card that uh, goes in the side here, or you can actually hook a computer directly up to it. Uh, and load in your file. So I have a couple files in here already of different things. It comes with a whistle, a vase, a cube. These are kind of, this is a calibration cube to make sure everything is printing right. Um, it actually has a filament guide, which actually is, a, there's a couple parts of the 3D printer itself that were 3D printed. This little guide here, you can print uh, another one of. Um, there's some things that I added. I actually printed this little bin that uh, that fits here and it actually it has a little notch so it holds it in place so this is just where all my uh, different junk is that i've some things i've printed practice things and a little spatula to peel things off the the surface so this bed actually moves um, this actually as things print this this moves back and forth and this actually heats up as well it's a ceramic coated glass bed so you print your object on there and then you usually just take the the little uh, knife here and just kind of work at it a little bit and it'll pop right off there once the surface cools down. So it actually bonds your item to the surface as it prints and then once it cools down you just pop it right off. Uh, for smaller items you can print what's called a raft and it'll print a small plastic um, bottom flat piece to it and then it'll print your object on top of that and then it just snaps right off the the, uh, the raft when you're done. So, so let me show you a couple of things that I have printed uh, and the quality of them. So this actually you're looking at, I did a time lapse, I'll show you here in a minute, of uh, something that we printed uh, the other day. And I actually, I printed out all of the supports for this GoPro. So this bottom support here, all these little screws, the screws that go in here, that mechanism, um, all these little hinged items and, and everything. The, everything is completely 100% 3D printed. I also printed this little clamp for the GoPro. Um, and all these items were 100% printed as well, even the threaded items. I printed another clamp that's going to go on um, a bike bar that I'll actually, this will be a, uh, an item for, for next week, I'll show you guys. And then all these other little uh, GoPro parts, these were all 3D printed. 
And so this is actually a tripod um, mount. This will slide uh, right into a, a tripod and then you can mount your GoPro items right on top. This is something we're actually gonna put into use today. This is a, um, gonna be a, a chicken feeder. So I printed this out uh, the other day as well. And our youngest daughter, she had to have a little organizer for all her bathroom items. So we printed out uh, this little organizer. And these are all uh, things that were, I did not design these things. These were all found on a website I'll show you guys later. We also just printed out this little organizer here for her as well. It has various compartments in it. And uh, she, she just loves these little things. So this is a little birdhouse that the SSL family mom uh, requested. So we just printed this out. And it comes with, uh, I think these have to be glued in. So the front piece was separate, so that'll be glued in there. And then it comes with a little threaded peg that actually screws into a hole here for the, the birds to, to roost on as they stand on, I guess, as they get in and out of the, the birdhouse. So this is 100% uh, 3D printed here as well. That can be mounted outside. So here is something interesting that we 3D printed as kind of a test. This is, from what I've been told, the actual plans for a socket wrench that was sent up to the International Space Station that they printed in space. So the same plan for that. So we printed this just to kind of see, um, you know, how well it works. So it prints this in layers and actually all the, the ratchet mechanisms on the inside were all printed in order as well. And then it's a little stiff, but it does, it does work. It does ratchet. So you can hear the, the gears in there, or the ratchet. And so, Now I haven't figured out how to uh, re reverse the, the ratchet. I'm not sure. I think this looks like it. you have to push this through, but I didn't want to break it, so I haven't pushed hard enough on it. So. so one of the coolest things about this particular 3D printer is this is super simple. This is definitely for the beginner. Uh, it came almost assembled. I mean, there was a, a few things, a pretty simple instructions of how to put this thing together. And then once you, you fire it up, you put the memory card in, it comes with two memory cards, two, or, or uh, one little SD card, excuse me, and it comes with some stuff preloaded on it. You put it in there, you press start, and you let it go. I actually, uh, we, we printed off this uh, chicken feeder. We're going to put this together and put it into use today. But I want to print off more of these because I want to make a larger one of these. So let's uh, show, I'll show you the process of actually printing something out. So usually what I do is just go on to uh, Thingiverse. I'm showing you uh, just a bunch of different things that I have collected, things that look interesting to me. Some of these things that I've already printed. There's the uh, socket wrench. So here's the chicken feeder uh, adapter. This is uh, actually has a hood that I we're not going to print right now. But the part that we need is this part right here. So this is a bucket style chicken feeder. And then you just grab it and drag it into the slicer program. And now we can print it. Now I actually want to duplicate this because we're going to print several of these. So it saves it onto the SD card. Pop it in. So we're going to print this in green.
Well, all four of these have been completed, so we'll be building a new chicken feeder very soon for all those baby chicks. Uh, they, they eat lots of food. Future project to come. But I've been printing lots of other things. This thing has been running nonstop, as I said. I just printed these last night. These are little um, like greenhouse or gardening clips. Uh, they'll clip around uh, you know, tomato plants or other vining plants on, on trellises or uh, stake supports or other types of things. There's a couple different sizes. So just another little example of something you can print out. These print real quick, they're real small. Uh, so you can print you know, maybe 15 of these things in an hour. Stuff like this behind me, I'm printing a little seed uh, starting system. So it's a, it's a reusable uh, seed starting system so I can continue to print a bunch of these. So eventually I could have you know, maybe 50 uh, cells and uh, use this over and over every year to start seedlings in. So this thing has truly just kind of revolutionized or just changed the way I think about everything as far as DIY here on the homestead. Uh, there's the, 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 the possibilities are just limitless with this printer. Uh, this particular one, the, the longer LK5 Pro, uh, I haven't had any other models, but I tell you that this thing has been pretty much seamless. I have not really had any issues with it. Uh, once you set it up, it, it comes almost fully pre-assembled. Uh, you have to do a little bit of adjustments with getting the, the table level, um, and it kind of shows you how to do that. There's some videos online and things like that. Uh, once you get it set up, I haven't really touched it since. I've just been sending it files and hitting print, sending it files and hitting print you know, over and over and over and over again, just printing things. And it's just been flawless. I've changed the filament colors. Um, these filament rolls, so you can get uh, these on Amazon. These cost about $20. So as far as the cost of printing an item, um, you know, these four things right here probably used maybe 20% of one of those rolls. So maybe this cost, I don't know, uh, five bucks or less to print uh, all four of these, these items. So cost savings wise it depends on what you're printing if you're printing really large items and it uses a whole roll of filament like if i wanted to print a, a 16 inch tall vase or planter or something huge that might cost me 20 dollars to print it might not be worth it smaller items like this that are more custom uh, this if i were to buy this online with the bucket it would cost me probably 20 bucks to 25 dollars uh, i can get a bucket for free print one of these out for you know a couple bucks and uh, and and make my own so it depends on what you're printing as far as the cost savings go things like this just cost pennies and they're probably about the same price as maybe you'd buy it online but i can just print it at home so Depends on what you're printing, but the cost savings are definitely there. Now where this thing really changes everything is the, the customization, which I haven't really got into. So let's say I need a specific clip for a, a, a project that I'm doing or a specific you know, uh, designed hinge or washer or part of some sort to hold something or to do a certain task. Uh, I can design that myself in a CAD program and then print out exactly what I need uh, in just maybe an hour or two. So it, it's, that's where the things really get exciting is, is once I get into that aspect of it. Um, I haven't gotten into that yet. It takes a little bit extra time to just kind of get used to using those programs. But uh, the amount of things that are already available online with other people's plans is kind of mind boggling. I keep discovering more and more things that I can uh, print. So this thing right here is going to change how we do a lot of things around here. Uh, this is going to change how a lot of people do a lot of things in uh, around the world. This, this changes everything. Uh, you can print out and design and create your own things in your house. It works very well, it's very reliable. The only complaint I have is the amount of time it takes. It's a slow process. Some of the prints, the big things like this that I'm doing here, they take almost 24 hours to print. So like what's printing behind me, I think this was a 17 hour print. Um, some of these things just take time. So I let this thing run overnight. Uh, I wish that it would run these, you know, and this is common for all 3D printers, not just this one. They all, they all are, you know, layer by layer, it takes time to do. So my challenge for you guys is to not only check the longer LK5 Pro printer out at their website, I'll put a link to this in the description, but also go to a website called Thingiverse. If you're not sure if this is something that you would want or need, go to the website Thingiverse and just look around at all the different things that you could print at home. Uh, just get some ideas, search up gardening, search up greenhouse uh, stuff, search up pet things, search up you know, chicken or animal care, search uh, uh, tools, search organizers, search, uh, you know, just start looking around on that site 
and uh, literally you will you will uh, you'll find something that will be interesting I'm sure to print at home so, so you'll be seeing this used in a lot of upcoming videos projects I'll be working on uh, our new garden spaces some chicken stuff other things that we're doing there'll be lots of 3d printed items that we'll be using so I'm sure you'll be seeing more of this uh, 3d printer let me know what you guys think 3d printing gonna change the world as we know it or is it just uh, uh, do you think that you, there's no use for it um, tell me what you think don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video subscribe if this is your first time here and as always guys thanks for watching have a good one